Ahoy! Today we have various new bits of information about Danzaburo, beginning with a fully animated trailer for him. Alongside with that we also have other posts of the teasers that we'll get into after, but let's begin with the trailer, have a look at it first and then talk about everything that's in there. I am a humble sake merchant. <laughs> hmm. Beat it. My king, I have many a tale of how my spirit... I got all the sake I need. Okay, okay. If you insist, this sake is reserved for the gods. I am a god! Proceed. As I was saying, my sake is beyond the compare. The <laughs> gods were captivated by it. They couldn't resist. After one drink, they were singing my praises. They endlessly searched for me. For repeat business, of course. Once they found me, the scene erupted in celebration. And we all had such a blast. I remember Bacchus even told me that he never... <laughs> Merchant, you have a deed. I'll take your ten cases. No, no. Make it twenty. Excellent. Enjoy. I gotta say, I really love this trailer, and as much as the epic trailers of recent gods were cool, I like the way that this one gives us a better introduction to what the character stands for and what he does. Before we get into the further details, if you haven't seen the previous data mining videos or haven't watched the patch notes, Danzaburo will be a hunter. So keep that in mind with everything that we'll see in his kit and that we'll analyze here. And then also we'll have some more information again from other posts afterwards. So what can we find out from the trailer? We can find out that Kuzumbo most certainly doesn't like Danzaburo based on all the signs around his base. But that might just be to build up the story. I don't know if there's any direct rivalry. I wasn't able to find anything about that at least that would say give them certain stat benefits like Set and Horus when they fight each other. The first major thing about Danzaburo himself that we see is that he is wearing a disguise. He is a trickster in many ways. And we know that he has some sort of transformation and tricking abilities in his kit already. So this may be tied to this particular disguise. Though it wouldn't really make sense if it's just him being cloaked in games. So maybe he can cloak himself in other ways or take other forms. Next we learn that Sake seems to play an important role in his kit. This actually is something that is somewhat confirmed from the data mining already. Which mentioned a bottle deployable. This could most likely either be his first ability where not too much info is known but it has a pickup effect or his second ability that comes with a bunch of different effects and area effect debuff healing and whatnot which would then kind of go in line with how he showed in the trailer how he gave that drink to other guards. So maybe he can throw the sake and it will debuff enemies and buff allies. Next we obviously cannot go without mentioning the sake gourds as they're apparently called. The, well I guess bottles in a way that dangle from his belt. These are very obviously a reference to something else that Tanukis quite prominently have. And I think Hyrus took a very smart way of integrating this here while also keeping it PG. So we will have these two dangling gourds in front of him at all times. There's also his passion for trade. He likes to make trades of all kinds. So him saying that he is a merchant isn't exactly wrong. And this is also something that will once again be reflected in his kit. 
because he has a money bag model skeletal mesh from the data mining. So it's something that will take some form of role, maybe in form of trading with enemy guards, stealing things from them, or in some other way, but gold will somehow be involved there. I think stealing a whole item in late game would be a little bit overpowered in many ways. And then from a tiny part of the animation, we can actually see two pretty important things. One is the fact that he's riding a wooden rocket. And we found out in the data mining that he has a rocket of some sort. This is something I previously couldn't explain. I thought that it was just a reference to something else or it took a mechanic from Vulcan or something. But it is quite literally a rocket that he's apparently riding. So this seems to be his escape ability. Which one that would actually be in his kit is not clear to me. It could again be the first ability, but it might also be that the ability that it planned for wasn't originally in the kit and wasn't in the data mining. Can't say. Maybe it's even in the ultimate, but that has various other things, so it's unlikely. In the same part of the clip, we can also see Danzaburo's makeshift gun. Now, we can't see what type of projectiles it will be shooting. And we know that his kit mentions a stone, but it doesn't specify if the stone will be the projectile. I was actually hoping that he would be throwing stones as his basic attack, that would have been fantastic. That doesn't seem to be the case, because I could imagine that he's simply shooting stones from this makeshift gun, it would kind of go in line, so it's just some scrappy, weird version of a shotgun. But maybe that's not it, maybe it'll just be more traditional bullets from a scrappy gun. It's also worth pointing out that he has some leaves in his hat, Leaves are mentioned elsewhere as well. I'm not sure if these ones are just decoration or if they will actually have a relevant impact on his kit and one will disappear when used or something. Last but not least, there's also the sake that Danzaburu sells to Kuzumbo, which comes in these crates and then the crates and the sake disappear. This goes very much in line with a lot of the things of the third ability, which has a Mesh fake FX, a reveal poof FX, which we see in the trailer, as well as a leaf explode, and these leaves are appearing as well. They're actually appearing in many of the animations in the trailer, though. So we're not 100% confirmed on this part, but it does seem that the third ability will at least work similar. It mentions spikes as well, so maybe it'll reveal spikes under something, but work in a similar fashion to what we see here in the trailer. At the same time, the ultimate also comes with a statue poof FX, so it could also be something related to that. In addition to this trailer, Hyrus posted multiple teasers on Twitter. The first one has a quote saying, Kini Shinai, I will be just fine. Now someone get me more sake. And it's obviously his sake gods here. Neither Google nor Deeple would properly translate the first part, the Japanese part here. But I think from what I was able to find out, it's something like, don't worry. This one we don't need to discuss further because we kind of got the info from the trailer now. But the other one has some info that's not in the trailer. The quote here is, I will give you this shiny leaf. And then we see these bamboo branches as well as rocks here. I did some digging on what this shiny leaf could be about. There are actually quite a few different options. The first mention that I found is that the Tanuki, which Danzaburu is one of, can transform the leaf into money. So that could be something that again goes along with the whole money thing. However, it's also said that the Tanuki puts leaves on its head in order to transform. This is something that you may be familiar with in one way or another and you may not even realize. I didn't realize until I was pointed out. This leaf here is a leaf from Super Mario and this leaf transforms Mario into a Tanuki, or at least partially. Given that Danzaburo is wearing the leaves on his hat, that would be on his head still, so that may be the reason. However, the leaf that is mentioned here is specifically shiny and there is another interpretation. The Tanuki would use their, let's just say, sake gourds to hammer gold into gold leaves. Don't ask me why they did it, but they did it. Since the quote here says, I will give you this shiny leaf, I don't even know if that's a leaf I would want to take. I could also imagine that this goes in line with the whole trading thing. Maybe there's an ability where he throws a golden leaf at the enemy and then gets an item for a few seconds. If the bamboo that's depicted here has any significance, I can't say. I wouldn't see that reflected in any other part of his kit so far. 
And that is everything we know so far. We'll find out more in the upcoming days, hopefully getting a closer look as well. When that happens, I will of course make a video about it here. So feel free to click the sub button and make the bell if you want to get notified of that. Also on that note, sorry for being semi-absent for the past few days. I'm working on a two bigger-ish video projects, actually unrelated to Smite, but you will see in due time, that I've been spending a lot of time on, so I haven't really been able to make short videos in between. But I will of course make videos about everything surrounding Danzaburo and the new patch coming out. With that, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.